Welcome on UBP TV. In June, we had two very important meetings of central banks. The first one in Europe, Mario Draghi delivered, as expected, a rate cut plus additional measures to boost the economic activity and to support the Eurozone economy. In the US, the Fed continued its tapering process and Mrs. Yellen, the Fed chairwoman, is still leaning dovish, more dovish in fact than she was at the beginning of the year. And uh, we can say as a conclusion that the monetary policies of the major central banks remain extremely accommodative. And that was very important for the markets and the financial markets. Central banks remain an important source of support for uh, the investors. They make uh, cash looks horrible and they are pushing up bond prices, forcing investors to invest in riskier assets. Therefore, the environment is very positive for risky assets. Uh, on the fixed income side, we still remain positive on carry strategies. Uh, spreads are tight currently. Uh, it's difficult to imagine they could be even tighter. But with the economic outlook we have for the following month, it's difficult to imagine these spreads to widen. Therefore, we still favor corporate bonds and high yield. We also like emerging bonds, external debt, and on top of that, we still have an allocation to convertible bonds uh, for their convexity features. In the, for the equity markets, uh, in the US, we are starting to see positive earnings revisions, and that is a good sign ahead of the earnings season. We, we expect some more good news uh, coming up uh, during that season. Uh, that should help uh, the, the markets to continue and uh, to push for higher levels. In the US, we still like growth stocks and innovative companies with disruptive uh, business models. After the correction we had in March and April, their valuations relative to their potential growth is much more interesting than the average market. In Europe, we don't see currently positive earnings revisions but we think it should come later on with uh, the improving economy. We still like the Eurozone periphery. Risk premiums in these countries are conti continue to go down and therefore uh, the stock markets in these countries should resume their uptrend. Generally speaking, we like the following sector, information technology, industrials, energy and healthcare. And finally, we still recommend European investors to hold some US dollars. Uh, the fundamentals of the greenback are improving and at the same time, the interest rate differential with Europe is widening. Therefore, the US dollar should appreciate. Thank you.